There was a standoff between the Americans and the Soviets. This is where it all happened. These are remaining parts of the wall. You can see the dividing line. Literally illegally entered the country. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is fascinating. My kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> the wall is open. Lots of people, lots of people. Scammers. Be careful when you walk around here, this part of Berlin. <laughs> what an amazing bunch. Paradise. Oh, Luxury man. housing for um, people in need. <laughs> Wow, what a cool place to visit. Greetings to all of you from my favorite city in Germany, Berlin. And look where I am. Checkpoint Charlie. One of the seven. Hello. Hello. I know you. You know me. You are at least in Yerevan. Yes. We are all from Germany. Oh, Romania. Oh, Boris. You also speak Russian, so. Yeah, yeah. My father can speak How Russian. How Как вас зовут? Кстати, вы мне знаете, я вас Левон. Левон, очень приятно. Nice Anna. Anna. Armin. Armin. Anna или Anna Id? Anna. Anna, только Anna. Anna. Моя последняя жена. Последняя? Да. Yeah. <laughs> это, это очень случайно. Я, я смотрю, это вы не вы. Мы <laughs> были yeah. в Ереване, а сейчас уже. <laughs> Через Нюрнберг не проедешь? Я, Потому... я там живу, ты что? А, ну, например, живешь. И меня обидеть хочешь? Можем договориться, почему, почему нет? нет? У вас хороший шашлык, там люля да. есть, есть, все? Люля, да. да. все, уважаю. Все, хороший вопрос. Мне приятно тебя Have видеть. Nice Взаимно. Nice to meet you. Очень приятно. Yeah. Let's take a photo. Absolutely. Why not? Uh, excuse me, you know how to use a camera? Oh, come on, you press the button. Too sunny for you, huh? She is too shy. Я с папой. А, с папой, конечно. Ну ты меня отправишь потом, да, на WhatsApp? Very good. Взаимно, очень приятно. Еще раз. Будем на связи. Напиши. Окей. Ты поставишь там? Конечно, это будет. Хорошо. Ты будешь самый известный Армении, не переживай. Сила. I tell you what, you gotta love the Armenians. Doesn't matter where you go, what an amazing bunch. So friendly, so kind, so warm. I mean, he's invited me to his house for a barbecue. But yeah, Berlin, vibrant city, full of culture, great vibe, amazing nightlife. But the reason why I love the place, it's because of its history, both Second World War and Cold War. And right now, at a place called Checkpoint C or Checkpoint Charlie, one of the seven checkpoints that were here in Berlin during the Cold War. And this was the main one, entrance from the west to the east. This is where it all happened. The wall was erected in August of 1961 for a very specific reason. The east was hemorrhaging a huge amount of population. I mean, up until that date, it lost about 20% of its population. It was affecting its economy, and it was a very significant demographic of people. They're scientists, they're engineers. So they decided to put up this wall, which obviously caused even more tensions. Look, everywhere you walk around here, there are bits of the wall. Now, most of it was actually, actually barbed wire and fence. Hello. Hi there. How are you doing? doing? Yeah, we're okay, thanks. Yeah? Good. But yeah, some of it was wall, and it was actually here that in 19... 61 in October there was a standoff between the Americans and the Soviets where they had some disagreement over you know document checks and right here there were tanks facing each other for six days went from one tank to about 10 tanks on each side it was getting really really tense I'm only here for a day but last night I went out with a subscriber who told me that his dad actually remembers when the wall went up but also he was right at the point, the first point of entry when the wall came down. I've asked him if he'd mind if I met his dad and got a little bit of living history. Turns out his dad doesn't mind. So I'm here in Berlin. Let's go and grab a currywurst and then meet this subscriber and new friend for, well, it should be an interesting day. Let's go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, Baldwin, Baldwin. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it's good. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, open the box, you got it, man. Open it. Open it. This one? Show money. Yes. No, I don't want money. That's okay, it's okay.
Let the lady, let the lady win. The lady is first. No, no, yeah. no. Bravo. Just look, just look, just look. One, two, three, one, two, three. Three, two, three. Stop now. No. All the best, my friend. Now, guys, how tempting that looks. When it makes it look too easy, there's a reason. And this place right here is renowned for scammers. So be careful when you walk around here, this part of Berlin. Checkpoint Charlie, because there are a lot of tourists. There's a lot of people looking for opportunities. Yeah, don't fall for those tricks. Even if he hands you the money, give it back to them. Because the last thing you want to do is have a fight with some, some Romanians. Look what I've come across over here, guys. Called Trabi World. The world of Trabant, the iconic East German car. Fancy a tour in a Trabant? Nice car, is it yours? Yes. Hello, how are you? You do currywurst? Obviously. Make it delicious. Even though you've never tried it, huh? Oh, I want to see how you make it. Can I record how you make it? That's lovely. What's your name? Anka. Anka. Are you from Berlin? Very nice. You have a lovely smile, Anka. Nice smile. Look at you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Can I eat it right here? No problem? Thank you. Here it goes, guys. Mm, so good. It's nice. No, sausage. Nice. Really nice, guys. Thank you, Anka. It was delicious. Have a fantastic day here in Berlin. And I'll see you soon. Auf Wiedersehen. What a lovely lady. Now, let's go and visit my new friend and subscriber, Johan, for a trip down memory lane. Let's go. These guys, this is gonna be good. Right here is Johan, subscriber. We met last night for a couple of drinks. Very kind, invited me to a cool place. And he started telling me stories about his dad here, Tillman. I'll, I'll get it before the end of the day. Tillman, now you all know that I'm fascinated with history, especially history of the Cold War, Second World War. And this young man right here remembers once young man once young man here <laughs> remembers not only when the wall was erected but also when it came down so we have living history and i asked this fine young man here if he would invite his dad today to take us on a walkabout and relive the history so we're here to do this and i'm really excited i really thank you for doing this so welcome let's go guys so if it's no secret may I ask how old you are 73. So you were born in 1949. 1949. Okay, so you're old enough to remember both events. Now we're going to head towards the place where the wall came down. Where do you remember it being demolished? It's simply that on that day when the wall opened, yeah, exactly in this place where we are going to. That was the only the place, place where they started opening the wall. We weren't watching TV, we weren't listening to the radio, there were not even uh, some music uh, to accompany our dinner. So at one hour there was a humming sound, a buzzing sound uh, rising up from the street. So something unusual. So you could feel the vibe on the street, like was it the pools or? The sound. No, it was. So. We opened the window and then we saw that the street was filled with people. We opened only people, a huge crowd of people. Yeah? And thousands of people. They weren't crying, they weren't shouting, but thousands of voices yeah, penetrated through the window panes. Unbelievable. <laughs> and so, and, so uh, and then we switched on TV and then of course uh, we heard the news now uh, the wall is open. Thousands and thousands of West Germans come to make the point that the wall has suddenly become irrelevant. Everyone was friends immediately, you were talking to each other ne? and uh, sharing the other. I decided to, <laughs> to go to the bridge ne? and to enter east. So you actually entered east 
You, you were probably the only guy that was yeah, going for I the West Indies. I, I, I didn't <laughs> see anyone else. Unbelievable. Everybody's <laughs> trying to run away from the East. And you're so like, I decided to. My kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what I would have done. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, we're in the uh, suburbs of, uh, of Berlin right now, an area called Wedding in uh, the west, I guess. Yeah, it must be in the west if you yeah, cross yeah, over yeah. to the east. So this is the building? Yeah, so that's the building up there on the third floor. So you lived on the third floor no, here? It was, uh, or you were at a friend's friend, house? Yeah, and that's where we had dinner. That's where you sat down, had dinner, and suddenly you could hear yeah, this and, vibe. And so it was in November, so the, the, the windows were closed. And so it was full of people here. Yeah. No, and, Just commotion uh, going yeah, on. Yeah, and, and, and so we came down and then talking to people and sharing each other's joy. And then I decided to, to go to the To go and investigate. And to enter. Eh? Let's go and have a look at that place. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, and my father said this was actually already there, this one. So this gas station yeah. actually dates this from... This was here, so yeah, so he can remember. This. So the, this whole this whole block was here, basically. By the way, your English is phenomenal. Yeah, I used to talk, teach English, and I actually stayed one year in Manchester. Ah, okay. Fifty years ago, I stopped practicing my English nine years ago, so now it's coming back. Well, you haven't forgotten it. <laughs> <laughs> That's phenomenal. And as my father said. It's really, if you live in Berlin, you're re really living in the Keats, in the, in the Wedding. If you live in Wedding, you live in Wedding. If you mm. live in steglitz of where we live, you don't really leave this place. I yeah. mean, it's like another city to you. So we are actually here, but we're not here every time. So yeah, it's, this you, is also new for us. You feel like you're visiting yeah, somewhere. <laughs> yeah, right. So everybody lives in his Keats. As I told you, I spent one year in Manchester. So the type of people, yeah. the, this proletarian type yeah. of people, I think they, uh, I like them. No? It's, it's uh, more easy going. Yeah, yeah, down to earth, aren't they? Not so posh and, uh, yeah, yeah, and, more working class. In West Berlin, you felt free. We were privileged in as much, we were given lots of money. We were the showcase of the West and so we enjoyed a good life yeah. <laughs> in, in, in West Berlin. We put, uh, leave freely. We could, if we wanted to travel to uh, West Germany or abroad to the United States and things, no, we could do it. You could yes. listen to the Beatles. I Rolling am. Stones was not illegal. No, it was not. <laughs> What's that? A cigarette machine in the middle of the street? Look at this, guys. You've got a cigarette vending machine in the middle of the street. That's amazing. You wouldn't find it in. in no, it. no, because they control your age, they control uh, who's buying it. And now you can just swipe your card, pack your lucky strikes, off you go. Oh, as a kid, I'd have been all over that. That's lodgings, places um, for people who are not so rich, built by, by the uh, town hall. Town, town hall, by yes, the town city hall. hall. It's like yeah, a, and they are luxury flats, yeah. But for people without money, <laughs> the type so of right now the people in there yeah, live there that the, the don't have money. No, and they live in such a nice neighborhood because. It's not private. <laughs> it's government owned. <laughs> yeah. So this is and so they did social housing, luxury yeah? housing for um, people in need. <laughs> that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. So that's in the 90s or so. Before the wall came down, we were living in a kind of luxury place. You see, even those who had no money were given luxury flats. Yeah. So wow. We were flooded with money and we hadn't to work very much. We got high wages. <laughs> that was paradise. And then, after the, the war came down, of course, West Berlin uh, suffered from, financially speaking. Well, yeah, because from, of the dilution, yeah, isn't it? I mean, yeah. I guess this must be like some kind of kindergarten. Yeah. Very clean, isn't it? So, guys, we're right here. We've just gotten to the bridge. And this is the place where this gentleman, curious <laughs> as he was, walked the streets we just did and got to the wall, which would have been right here, separating this bridge, as you can see right there. And his curiosity drove him to go into the east 
probably the only mental guy that was doing that. There probably was floods and floods of people coming out and you ventured in. And uh, listen, there's no way that unless you have living history that you could experience something like this and actually see it. If you look, I asked him a second ago, this would have been, you know, a wall right here, but on the other side, those tracks would have been there. So that would have been people's view yeah. back in those days. That wouldn't have changed, which is fascinating. So obviously when you walk, when you walk, to, when you walk through the wall, the first thing you would have encountered course, was uh, this bridge. Yeah. There was no wall here because uh, this, is, this is separation zone. There wasn't a wall. There wasn't it, a physical it was, wall. There wasn't a physical wall. It's it was like barbed wire. Frontier. Yeah, so um, you wouldn't. Uh, oh, that's why. That's enter. why it was the first yeah. entry point yeah, because yeah. they didn't have to demolish no, anything. No, no, no. Because, because I remember watching it on TV this, when I was young. This, it's like a, a yeah. natural, a neutral zone. Or neutral yeah. zone. Yeah, and they, uh, of course, they were guarding all this. So this was a, So guys, turn. my mistake. Yeah. It wasn't a physical wall. Yeah. It was a like a barrier yeah. or, or or a fence. So this would have been. On either side, you would have had soldiers of yeah. each. So, and over there in the distance, guys, you can see the uh, the famous TV tower on Alexanderplatz, obviously also in the east. And right away, you can see in the distance, guys, what I suspect are probably Khrushchevka style buildings that were paneled and put up really, really fast. So the minute you cross, you can already find a lot of, you know, a lot of clues that you've entered the eastern part. This is phenomenal, guys. So guys, right here, these are remaining parts of the wall. Well, this is fascinating. So we're, you can walk along it here and they've put up a memorial or kind of like a display here. 9th of November, 1989. This would have been East Germans, I guess, coming yeah, yeah, through, yeah. right? So right here, we can see the dividing line. Berlin Wall memorials and commemorative sites. So I guess this is right here. We're here, yeah. And we're right here. Fascinating, guys. Definitely worth a visit if you come to Berlin. This is not going to be your. This is the bridge. <laughs> this is we the bridge. All the people. How did you walk in contradiction no, to these every... guys, like across? Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> it'll be like, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, a bit later, but maybe at ten o'clock, ten, half past ten. 11 o'clock at night, so the funny thing was, it, lots of people, lots of people, when I crossed the bridge and I went down there, suddenly there were hardly any people around, it was quite deserted. Abandoned, yeah. yeah abandoned. Yeah. Everybody was leaving, but yeah. this is the actual bridge that we just walked on, yeah. that's right yeah. there. Wow. That is amazing. And you can see just how excited the people are, they're running across, literally in euphoria. I'll take a picture of you. How would you like it? Straight up? Very nice. So guys... So my father was somewhere over there. <laughs> yeah, you can see guys how the bridge ended. This is the barrier he would have been speaking about. And then you had the guards in their towers. Wow, what a cool place to visit, really. So, do you think you'll remember the bar you went to? And how was the beer on the east? Was it better than the west? Uh, I, uh, that night, I walked up to this very huge street. I think it's Frankfurt Allee, down there. And then I turned right, and uh, there was a, a night bar. And so, you had to walk down a couple of uh, steps. And I entered this, this bar and there was no TV, no radio, nothing. And it looked as if they had not heard about the event. It was still as Life as usual. Had Life as usual. Life as usual. See, I went out and walked even further, uh, entered a second bar, and the same impression. Things haven't changed at all here. Unbelievable. At that point, I got a bit nervous. So I, you, I turned you went back. I, let's. I don't want to get stuck here. <laughs> <laughs> let's go and backtrack, see if we can actually find this. So we're actually walking along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What used to be the Berlin Wall. Still is the Berlin Wall, just yeah. no longer in use, thank God. See, when you're in the center of town and you walk around and you do the tours or whatnot, it's very apparent, you know, because everything is marked. 
But you could drive along here in a cab, you'd look at that wall, you'd just think it was a graffitied wall. You'd never think for a moment that this was part of the Berlin Wall. So it's really nice to experience this. So if you could marry the girl as a, a West German, ah, then you she could bring can her. move out. She can leave East Berlin. I met her in East Berlin. Berlin. This was before the wall came down. So you were, you were able to enter? Of course. You the could, West, you West Berliners could enter. No you problem. Had, you, yeah, you had to apply for it. You had to get a, a permit. You had to pay 20 Deutschmarks then. And then you can't uh, enter East Berlin for 24 hours. And so I met that girl in a restaurant at Alexanderplatz. Wow, bar. was it a romantic dinner? No, because she wanted to know whether I would marry her to get her out. Right. So a lot of people, I guess, would uh, would shuttle back and forth between east and west to see their relatives that, from one day to another, Once. ended up uh, ended up in a in a different country. You could say. So that's quite a, a daring walk you took into the east without permission. Then. That's yes. Yes. Quite a long walk. Yeah. Obviously, I'm sure at the time the buildings weren't as well maintained as they are now. But I'm also sure there probably wasn't any graffiti. I, I suppose so. I think so. <laughs> it's not funny if, if, if the, the facades are dirty to to, <laughs> to, to graffiti. You put <laughs> graffiti on. Yeah, you want a nice <laughs> clean slate, don't you? You haven't got the swing. Right? It's like a canvas. <laughs> Guys, these buildings really look nice. Really nice. Dad in his younger years was a real adventurer <laughs> because you've illegally entered a country. Because think about yeah, it, at the yeah, time, right. you don't know yeah. what's going on. There's still, yeah. I mean, <laughs> you've literally illegally entered a country yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and you don't know if you're coming out. You don't know if that's a mistake and they're going to close it off in 10, in 10 minutes. Yeah, of course, it would have been possible. Yeah, I've done some crazy things in my life, but I think if I had that story in uh, in in my uh, trove, let's say. That would be probably one of the, the, the top ones. <laughs> but were you alone or did your friends go with you? No, no, I was alone. So you left your friends behind? Yeah. You said, see you later, mates. We couldn't stay together there because there were too many people. And was the fashion no, different stuff. in those days between the East and the West when the people came through? I mean, yeah, you could. You could fly, yeah, sorry, I say, ah, look, there's an East. The way they were uh, dressed, yes. And the cars as well. They had the Trabants, you had the Mercedeses, right? Yeah. Look at this opal behind this red car. We found an authentic car from the era. <laughs> opal Cadet. Pay attention to the bikes. Oh, to yeah. the bikes. It's dangerous. Oh, these are bicycle lanes? Yeah. Oh, they're not very marked very well, are they? Yeah, they, they are very quick. No? They run you over. Yeah, something. if you're in the wrong place, they, they yeah, feel yeah. like they have a right to just yeah. run you over. That's true, the bicycles here are kings. You know what, when you're driving around Berlin, which I just drove, you have to dodge them. It does, they can do what they like, you cannot. And it seems to be like they even rule the pedestrians. So yeah, bikers, cyclists. The cyclists of Berlin. Oh, look at this structure, how magnificent is that? These alleys are full, like no joke, with 20, 30 of these police cars. Still today? You can see. Yeah, every year. On May 1st. You can see. Yeah. All these cars. It's, I mean, I saw it why I didn't believe it. Reason being? Yeah, because of the protests and everybody wants to, you know, fight. Thank you. He works in our um, district as well. Oh, he travels around, yeah? yeah. But he works for himself or he works yeah, for yeah, yeah, an organization? Yeah, for, no, no. So you've actually, in, in th what is it now, 1989, 34 years, you've never retracked this route? Yes, yeah. I did. Uh, as I told you, uh, by car for it. So yeah, yeah, but uh, by foot yeah, or the way you yeah, did it that night? Uh, of course, I would uh, be here a couple of times. Failing the stairs, we still need to find a place for a beer. Yeah. You know, nobody's driving, right? No. Cool. Beers are on me. Let's go. <laughs> walking. The walking man or the man crossing man? With a hat. No, that's 
from East Berlin. That's what they had in East Berlin. Oh, really? Those are East Berlin sites? Yes, they didn't exist in West Berlin. And now you find them also in West Berlin. Right? So that became the standard yeah. for Berlin, yeah? It's not a typical like, Berlin style ever. Yeah. You know, it's cheap, it's tasty. I mean, I've even so many kebabs. Berlin. You survived them all? Yeah, and I mean, it's a different type of kebab in every city because I used to live in Vienna and they don't do it the same way mm. as they do it in Berlin. So um, even, even the Turkish started doing it yeah. like in Berlin. <laughs> Right, so I really prefer the one in Berlin. I mean, if you come to Berlin, you have to try the kebab. It's well, I'll take you up on that. Guys, I'm assuming that straight down there, you would get to Alexanderplatz, right. which yeah. is the big TV tower in the distance there. One of Berlin's main landmarks. Here we go. That's, that's perfect. Yeah. This, this looks authentic, actually. Hello. Do you have any good beers? No. Which ones? Show me your good beers, madam. What a smile. Yeah, oh yeah, very good. Which one would you recommend? Um, Berliner. Let's do something Berliner. German, yeah, something German. Berliner. Yeah, three Berliner okay. Kindles, please. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Look at this, guys, we're in, we're in Berlin. We're inside the bar, and they have ashtrays inside. I thought I only saw that in Bulgaria. This is cool. Oh, remember, we're in East Berlin. Maybe that makes a difference. <laughs> Should we sit outside? We got a nice Harris. Thank you, madam. Good appetit. Thank you. Merci. Thank you. We're in Spain. Ah. So we are on holiday, so to speak. Very nice. We're in Spain, in Alicante. Yeah, close to Alicante. Eight years. Yeah. Salud, dinero y amor. Bueno. Que chulo. Somos con españoles aquí. Oh. Is that perfect or what? In this weather, after such a walk, this is perfect. Well guys, what a way to end this fantastic day with my new friend here, Joanne. And hang on, I'll get it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So easy. Tillman. Tillman. <laughs> Till later, Tillman. <laughs> I'll remember this now. Well, I hope you enjoyed this live history from our friend here, Tillman, who took us down a trip down memory lane, really a privilege, and I want to thank you very, very much. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was all a privilege. Thank it's, you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. And guys, here's to you. Enjoy your journey.